Mr. Speaker, speaking of keeping promises, last week I questioned the Minister of the Environment on the stern warnings issued by UNESCO that Canada could lose World Heritage Site designation for Wood Buffalo unless all of the directives are met, including engaging impacted Indigenous peoples. She responded that she had initiated those consultations. How then does the government explain that the Mikasu Cree First Nation, who initiated the review, are still waiting? Whatever happened to the Prime Minister's commitment to a nation-to-nation -nation relationship? <laughs> right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, no relationship is more important to this government than the one with First Nation, uh, with uh, Indigenous peoples across this country. And that's why we take so seriously the responsibility of consulting and working hand with hand on a broad, hand in hand on a broad range of issues. Uh, on the issue of uh, UNESCO and uh, Wood Buffalo uh, uh, Park, we take that very seriously. We look forward to working uh, with uh, uh, local communities with stakeholders uh, and with partners to ensure uh, that we continue to preserve this extraordinary place uh, for decades and generations to come.